yes, this word has got me excited, but what's new? Every word gets me excited. So. Hello everyone, Simply CC here and welcome back to my channel. And I'm here today with another Motivational Monday as usual. I am outside again and I'm sorry for any of the background noise because literally my whole family's sleeping right now and I couldn't find any place to go where I wouldn't wake them up. So I'm outside, sorry. But we are back on our list today. Let me get it, my bad, I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. I was, but I wasn't. Okay, today's word, as you can tell from our thumbnail, is truthful. And yes, this word has got me excited, but what's new? Every word gets me excited. So anyway, as usual, I'm going to read this definition off and then we're going to jump right into it. Okay, I have two definitions. The first one is telling the truth. The second definition I have is containing or expressing in truth i love that second one expressing okay it's kind of like a no-brainer when we under when we ask the question of why is being truthful so important so i'm not here to tell you be truthful absolutely be truthful but i want to dive into what god has taught me about being truthful uh and the biggest thing that I know that I've struggled with in my life about being truthful is when you're in the wrong, when you're the one who's done something wrong, it is so hard. Our flesh, you know, our ancestors, and I'm talking about Adam and Eve, you know, they ran once they um, uh, bit that fruit. It's like our flesh knows now that we have done something wrong and it is so hard to own up to it. They ran in shame. And we sometimes lie. But what God has taught me through that and what a lot of you have probably experienced is that the truth does not, I mean, not the truth. A lie does not set you free. When we think about it, we usually tell a lie because we think it's going to keep us out of trouble, help us to avoid something that we don't want to face, or save us the embarrassment or guilt, anything. But in all, in all actuality, what I've learned in my life is when I tell lies, I have to tell more lies. And the lies never set you free. The lies only create more bondage for you. They only bring more shame, more guilt. Because at the end of the day, nine times out of 10, the truth will come out eventually. And you have to deal with that shame, not only the shame of what you were trying to avoid from being honest or truthful about, but now you have to deal with the shame now that everyone is aware that you also told a lot. Um, and that is the biggest thing I've learned. When God tells us to not lie, it is to protect us. The enemy has convinced us that if we lie, that's how we protect ourselves. We see it with our children and ourselves when we do things wrong or things we shouldn't do. Um, but what I've learned is that when I'm truthful, I am set free. When I'm truthful and I operate in truth, I save myself shame. A lot of times when we are lying or if we have made a mistake or done something wrong, it is that it's a mistake and we've done something wrong. The enemy is the only one that wants to condemn us to make us feel like your mistake, your sin um, is so shameful that you can't be honest about it, that people will not understand, people will not forgive you, you cannot find grace there. So instead of telling the truth, tell a lie and you can give yourself grace because you give yourself a reason and an excuse why you're lying. It's to protect that person. I don't want this to get out. I know this was a mistake. I don't want people to judge me, but that doesn't save you from any of those things. God tells us when we come to repent, he does not have condemnation for us. Repentance is something he calls us for, not because God needs us to repent. Understand God already knows every single one of our sins that we've done, that we, <laughs> we are doing, if we are doing them now, and what we're going to do. 
Repentance is for us. And what I've learned is that when I've learned to repent to God, when I've learned to own up to my mistakes, when I've learned to right my wrongs and stay truthful, no matter how terrifying, how embarrassed, how ashamed I believe that I might be, I learned that I find true, true freedom. freedom. And I find a grace and a peace that you cannot have when you're not truthful. So guys, I'm just telling you today, we want to avoid mistakes. We want to be sinless. Absolutely. But the reality is we are not perfect people and we will make mistakes. We will make a mistake on accident. We will do something intentional thinking it's the best choice. But when we realize that it's not, that we were wrong, that we made a mistake, be truthful. It will save you so much time, so much stress, and it will give you so much more peace, you guys. God is an amazing God, and if we love him and we learn to be like him, not only do we understand that his truth, I mean, us being truthful with him is a way that he shows his love to us because he wants us to realize that I'm not going to be angry at you. I'm not going to be ashamed of you for you being honest. I'm going to show you that I love you in the midst of your mistake, in the midst of your sin. So be honest about it because I can give you a peace that sin never gives us. Be truthful. And one of the things that I've learned in my relationship with God, and I pray that you all are learning this as well, is when we learn how much God loves us and we learn about God's grace, we learn to give grace. When we are truthful, we know how to bring truth out of other people because we understand the lie that tries to bond us into sin and into lying and not being truthful. And we understand the peace that comes from telling the truth and being honest. So guys, I hope that this blesses you, that this motivates you guys as per usual. I love you all. I hope to see you all here next week on Monday for another Motivational Monday. As always, stay blessed, stay motivated, and always, 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 you guys, stay close to God. Peace. Bye.